Before we hop into today's video, one, I have a couple things I'd like to talk about, and if you guys could just hear me out just for a few moments, I'd really appreciate it. First things first, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I have one question for you guys before we hop into this. I know a lot of people are out of work and out of school right now. I would like to know if you are out of school or work and leave a comment below when you think you're going to be going back or how long you're out of school for or how long you're out of work for. I would like to know that in the comment section down below. Second thing, I really appreciate the support recently, guys. It really means the world. I mean, you guys have been watching. You guys have been supporting me, leaving comments down below, giving me awesome feedback, and I really appreciate that. In today's video, another thing with the coronavirus, I, um, I hope everybody's, you know, staying safe and obviously the basic measures, you know, watching where you go and this, this and that. We don't want you guys getting sick and everything. That's just something I wanted to throw out there. But today we have an awesome video. As you guys know, we're about to get into the heat of the amazing fishing content. We're gonna have a bunch of great top water fishing, a bunch of great spring fishing, bed fishing, and then moving into the summer where we're gonna catch a bunch of big fish as well. This video that we're posting today, I kind of wanted to step back, throw some clips that I had before from last year. It was like two years ago of an amazing frog fishing day. And I'm gonna be showing that to you guys today. Some of you guys might have seen some of these clips before, not all of them, but some of them. But for you guys that haven't, I highly suggest you watch this. Even if you have seen it, it's just a fire video. I ended up watching it the other day and I was like, man, I really wanna show this to the, to the people on the channel. And this was just a record frog fishing day. So thank you guys so much for the support. We're gonna hop into this. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button. Let's go ahead and hop into this. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rabbits combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about... Whew, nice. Oh my gosh, I got one already. What a way to start this video. With a two pounder, two and a quarter, choking a chatterbait. What a way, <laughs> what a way to start today's video out on this amazing day here in Florida. With a fish choking a chatterbait that far, that is insane right there holy smokes with an old beautiful bass on a chatterbait oh that's just sweet the sun hasn't even came up yet we are about to smack him today i haven't even got to do the intro yet and already caught this solid little guy all right buddy thank you for biting man that was that was awesome oh, yeah Only thing I can do right now is get back out there and try to catch another one, right? Holy crap. I just had one right there. Holy crap. <laughs> Did you see the wake of him? Holy crap. That was next cast. I was trying to get the grass off my chatterbait. I had one slam me right there. <laughs> yes oh man that's a decent one right there <laughs> holy cow this is why i love florida baby you cannot beat it look at that solid two and a half pound fish look at that god that's <laughs> holy. holy cow that might be that's that's over two that's about two and a half right there look at that fish this is a long healthy fish because we've already caught two good ones in the matter of a few casts almost had three and man, how can it get better than that? What a beautiful fish, man. Haven't even done the intro yet and already catching good ones. Golly, that is a beautiful fish. Cannot take nothing away from this one. That is fun right there. I didn't even bring any trailers out here. I'm probably gonna be wishing I did. Me already catching two on this chatterbait that quick. That is just insane. Almost had three. I mean, they're just, they're munching this thing. They're no doubt 
about it. They're munching this chatterbait. And I haven't even had time to do my entry yet. I'm having fish freaking crush this thing right away. How can you beat that? Let's throw back in there where he was, see if there's another one. Oh! Holy smokes. He picked it up and started taking off to the left. Let's flip back in there and see if he'll bite it. This is ridiculous. As we haven't even done the entry yet. Guys, I've missed more fish than I've caught. I've, I've already missed three fish. I'm grabbing this chatterbait, but they're not eating it all the way. I don't get how the first one just choked it, and now I've missed three fish in a row. Pretty crazy. I, I don't know. They're they're eating. I've had five bites already. I haven't even moved spots. I've been standing in the same spot this whole time. Well, everyone, welcome to another video. You know, sorry about starting to intro about ten minutes late. You know, we've only caught five fish now. We are whacking them already. Already we're whacking them that good. But that is not the goal today, is to catch them on a shatter bait. That is not the goal. The goal is to catch them on frogfish because I know you guys don't get to see that much. I don't get to do that much. And I really want to catch me a frogfish out here today. Um, if we were throwing this chatterbait all day, it would be deadly. It would be insane. I mean, I haven't even thrown it much. I've already caught four on it. I missed a few more on it. They're munching the chatterbait, all right? But anyways, we're going to take that frog. We're going to be going down this bank. We're going to try to catch a lot of bass on this thing. We had one to come blow up. We had one that just kind of peeked his head up top. He didn't eat it all the way. Um, but that gives me the hope that we can catch a few on this frog today. So let's go ahead and continue to work down this bank. I feel like it's only going to get better. You guys should see the activity on the bank where we're about to be casting. Literally, as I said that, a fish jumped in the back. Let's go ahead and get out here. One last cast in this corner. Then we're going to start walking down the bank. And we're going to get us some frogfish today. I don't want to sit here and stick them all on a chatterbait. We're going to try to get some topwater action this morning. Slowly pick up this frog and start casting. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> oh, this is going to kill me. Just going past so many fish with this frog. But I know the bite's going to be so fun. I'm spooking so many on the bank right now. Holy crap. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Calm down, Noah, just calm down. Holy crap. I got a bucket of salad out of that. He, whew, he tanked that thing. That was like a solid three, three and a half pounder. Holy crap. He completely juked me out on that one, not gonna lie. I thought he had it. It sure looked like he had it, but no, he just swatted at it. We're gonna throw back in there. You wanna catch one real quick just to say that we can do it? Game over. There he is. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> ah, only if you guys knew how insane this day would be if I stuck with this chatterbait. But maybe we can film two videos out of this. Maybe we'll just try. God, I got him so deep he's bleeding a little bit, but look at that bass. Yeah, I gotta get him back in the water. Oh my god, all right. Not quite a big one, but solid pound and a half. What in the heck? We just gotta put this chatterbait down. I'm telling you guys, if, if we were throwing this all day, I'm just letting y'all know. Matter of fact, we're gonna throw another cast out here. I, I'm telling you, if we were just chucking this all day, we'd have probably 40, 50 fish that were pretty good size, not gonna lie. But watch, I mean, I. They're all out here, and I know I can catch them on this chatterbait. We just got a decision to make. Holy! Oh my God, it's a big one. He tanked that frog. Oh, 
Yes, look at that. Look at that frog in the back of his throat. Literally in the back of his throat. Oh yeah, that's what we've been waiting for. I ain't that big, about to. Gosh, is that a beautiful bass on the frog. When they come jumping, they look so big. But I am not complaining. This bass just destroyed that frog right there. <laughs> and that is why we came here today, boys. Catching big frog fish, that is the overall goal. So we're not even gonna pick up that chatter bait anymore. We know it can happen on the frog. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna continue to work down this bank and maybe we'll just end up hooking an absolute donkey. I would like to give a specific shout out to my boy, Bass Bank Robbers, man. I'm gonna link him right here. You guys need to go follow him. He's hooked me up fat. I asked him if he wanted to come fishing, uh, but he is at work. He's working hard. Fully support that 100%. Wish he could be out here fishing with me, but uh, he's letting me fish one of his holes today. I'm actually here in Florida, super addicting. I'm telling you, Florida is too addicting. The content is too good when I come out here. So it's like, I, it's worth me driving a few hours out of my way to come fish. It is just flat out simple as that. It's too good. Holy crap, was that fun. That was it right there. Just, <laughs> those bites are just too good. You cannot compare nothing to a frog fishing bite. Something about catching a fish on a frog is just so interesting, so fun, oh my gosh. Not gonna lie, if I could do any type of fishing, it would probably be frog fishing. Frog fishing is probably my favorite over anything. If I could just go pick and be like, all right, I'm gonna catch a fish on this bait today, it would probably have to be a frog. Something about the bite's just so exciting and it never gets old. You can catch a hundred fish on this frog today. Oh man, it's just so fun. That looks game over to me. Yep. <laughs> Holy crap, holy crap, oh man. This is a big one, holy crap. Look at that. <laughs> what did I say on that cast, it's game over. It sure was game over for this big bass right here. Holy crap. <laughs> How can you beat that guys? Hit that like button if you haven't already. This is just, oh this is gonna be a fun day out here frog fishing. All right, buddy, beautiful bass right there, about two and three quarters, that is a good one. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <sighs> yep, that's the biggest one yet. Look at him peeing. Look at that right there. Look at him peeing all over the place. He was not coming off, I could tell you that. Look at that fish. Super skinny, but man, that is still a big one. That is insane. That's what we're averaging on the frogfish right now. Beautiful bass like that. Look how long. He is skinny as can be. Isn't that pretty right there? Look at that. Look at that beautiful bass. <laughs> that is so much fun. So obviously I'm frog fishing today, but maybe I can talk to you guys a little bit about what I'm doing, explain myself a little bit more, and you guys can go apply that to when you guys are fishing out on the water. So as you guys can tell, there is so much activity up on this bank. All, <laughs> this is all behind my frog right now. So there's a lot of bass pushed up shallow on this bank. There's a lot of tilapia as well, um, but I'm, I'm just, I got a lot of water in my frog. Here's a little tip right here. Squeeze the water out or your frog will sink. Matter of fact, I popped my frog. Look at that. Look at that. I busted my frog. It's the only one I got with me today, too. I hope that doesn't affect this. Because what I'm doing, I'll have to show you guys. So I'm throwing my frog out here. There's a lot of grass up here on this bank. Yeah, my frog's sinking. That's not good. For what I'm doing today and how I'm catching them, that is not going to fly. I can tell you that. No good. I cannot believe I pop. I have not done that yet. And this is on a little booyah. I don't know if, what the heck? I usually throw a spro. Anyways, what I was saying guys, I'm throwing this frog up here on the bank. A lot of grass on the bank, a lot of bass on the bank. A lot of beds on the bank, a lot of tilapia on the bank. There's a lot of activity on the bank. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this little popping frog. This is actually one by Booyah. It's a little natural color. It's got brown on the top, a little bit of yellow in the middle, and then white on the back. 
I'm taking this frog, I'm throwing parallel with the bank. That's really important. If you guys don't know what that means, right here is parallel with the bank, all right? So instead of casting out off the bank, we're throwing... <laughs> oh, man. That's a big one, God. That's the best one yet, actually. Just keep getting bigger and bigger. Look at him choke that thing. Look at him choke that thing. I mean, in the back of his throat. I didn't think he wanted it. Holy crap, is that a long fish? That is, golly, that is insane right there. That's dang pushing 20 inches, look at him. He's got a skinny tummy, super long fish right there. All right, buddy, thank you for biting. You, you, uh, you kind of interrupted my little presentation on what we're doing, but man, I'll take you. Oh, is he gonna jump? Oh. So as I was saying before I got slammed, I'm throwing parallel with the bank. So what that means is instead of throwing out off the bank, are you kidding? Am I about to get slammed again? Instead of throwing out off the bank, I'm throwing directly on the edge of the bank. And the reason I'm doing this, all these bass, bass are pushed up shallow right now. And obviously I'm throwing a little frog that I'm gonna be wanting to throw in this shallow water. I'm not gonna sit here and throw a frog all the way out there. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this, throwing it along this grass on the bank, all these bass are sitting here as well, hungry and ready to munch. And what I'm doing with this frog is I'm throwing it out there and I'm usually letting it pause, all right? I just busted this hole in my frog, so this does not help the situation. But what I've been doing is I've been throwing this frog along this grass and what I notice is they want it really slow. So when I throw it out there, I might let it sit for a second and I'll give it a little pop. And all of a sudden I might let it sit for another second and I'll give it another pop. And then usually that's when they're gonna eat it. They've been eating it on those long pauses, all right? Right now, I just busted that hole in my frog and it's making me work it really quick because if I let it sit, then it's just gonna sink because of that big hole right there in the front of it. Um, I mean, look at that, that is ridiculous. But I did just catch that fish working it a little bit faster. But the other ones were definitely coming when I'm pausing this frog a little bit longer and giving them a little bit more time to look at it and it kind of irritates them if it's sitting right there above their head. Let's give it a try right here. God, is there a huge bed with a huge fish on it. I see him. He ain't gonna bite. He's looking at me right here. I don't know if you guys see all this. This is just unbelievable to me. All I know is this frog is really irritating because I know I could get so many more bites on it, but therefore it's sinking. And that is just aggravating. I mean, look at all this water that comes out every time unbelievable oh, no maybe that little fast approach walking at the top that might do it that might entice them to destroy this thing this frog is getting worse and worse but we're gonna continue we're gonna see if we can catch these fish i don't know how i missed him right there Yeah, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Oh, man, these fish next to me are spooking me. And then I just hooked this guy. Oh, yeah. Where you at? Yes, sir. Get your butt on. Whoa, Jimbo, calm down, calm down, calm down now. Calm down now. Let me get you so I can release you back in the water. These fish are like all identical. They're like twins. I think this is what, our fourth fish on the frog? I'm having to work in it fast now. Imagine if I was working it slow, how many we'd be getting, but look at that beautiful fish. Oh yeah. Talk about destroying your frog. Look at that one. Look at that one. My frog is so destroyed. Yep, this frog is gonna have to go in the trash after this one. The hole keeps ripping more and more, and that is not gonna roll. We're gonna get about this trip, maybe the next 10 minutes out of this frog. Then we're gonna have to, we don't have a choice but the chatterbait, which I left behind me, but. <laughs> oh man. That is the biggest one. Oh man, he destroyed that thing. Oh yeah. Holy cow. Look at that. 
Holy crap, guys. Yeah, since we're working this thing fast, these fish are getting a lot more aggressive <laughs> with this frog. Preemed that thing. He didn't just suck it down. Pushing it. If he had a little fatter stomach. But man, <laughs> that is awesome on the frog. That fish hit it like a shark. Let's see our frog still holding up. <laughs> he's he's dead. The frog's done, okay? But we're gonna try and keep trying to catch these aggressive ones. That thing came out of nowhere. That was awesome right there. That's that was probably the funnest fish catch today. Guys, it looks like our frog is not gonna last. Look at that. I can't even I'm I'm to the point to where I can't even really even pop it up anymore and move it fast enough it just keeps on getting too much water in it 